Oh, hi guys. Didn't see you there. You caught me as I was about to burn a load of these old pallets. Whoa, whoa, don't do that. I've got a use for them. You're welcome to it, mate. Oh, brilliant. Give me one hour and I'll knock together something a bit like that for you. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We're doing something a little bit different today. We're gonna to turn these two pallets into a modern garden planter. I ain't done much uh, garden stuff on the channel and the mister said to me, why don't you do something nice for the garden? And I thought, what would my viewers wanna see? So we can mix our carpentry skills and make the missus happy at the same time. But before we do that, if you like the video, smash a like button for me down below because that really helps this video reach and help more people just like you on YouTube and if you're not a subscriber already and you like DIY content that might be electrical, carpentry, plumbing, you name it, we do it on the channel so hit that subscribe button for me because you're not going to want to miss out. So let's get creative, let's make a start. So you'll want a couple of old pallets for this one and a few woodworking tools as well but they can be hand ones, don't need to be fancy power tools. So let's move that first pallet out the way for now. So turn the second pallet over and we'll remove this middle panel here. And go easy, try not to split the wood. Keep this bit because you'll be using that in a minute. Measure 270 from the bottom. And make a mark at 270 all the way across the board. Now grab a saw, it can be a hand saw, it doesn't need to be a power tool, and just make a cut above that 270 mark. Give yourself plenty to play with though, go about 100 mil above the 270. It just need to be rough cuts. We now need to take these two boards off so we can rearrange them to make the spacing perfect, and I think I'm gonna replace this board here because for some reason it's really short. Obviously your pallet will differ but I would take these two boards off. You don't need to take the bottom one off but take these two off so you can get the measurement and the spacing correct. Claw hammer is going to be your best friend for this bit. Again be careful not to split the wood. If you have to cut through the nails instead of splitting the wood. So we now have a frame to work with. Now mark 270 on these uprights. Now go ahead and make the cuts on those 270 marks. Now take any two slats from our second pallet and space them out evenly onto the bottom planter. We'll then screw them in place and you can see there that already looks much better. And you'll see that this already looks much much better. And now we've got a bit of shape to work with, we can actually finish creating the frame. Next up, grab that bottom support that we salvaged before, and we want to put that back on now to place it on the top of the pallet where it should go and make sure it's somewhat square. And then if you've got some clamps, just clamp it in place. So now it's clamped in place, it can't move, and we can screw it from, from the bottom. Make sure you pilot hole this time because we're using longer screws so that they go right through into the support and we don't want to split the wood. Now we need to decide the depth that we want for that bottom planter. You can make this as big as you want. Do remember if you're going to wall hang it when it's filled with soil it's going to be very heavy if you make it too big. So what I want to do is probably only sit that a couple of hundred mil out from the main pallet. Cut some lengths of wood to whatever depth you want that planter to be. So we've got six equal length pieces of timber that we've cut out of our old pallet. Now just pilot hole the ends of those because again we don't want to split the wood and then marry those up with the front runs on the pallet so that they're nicely lined up and screw them in place. Do the same the other side and once you've done both sides you should have something that looks a little bit like that. Now we can assemble the two pieces together and you can see it's really starting to come together now. Next up we'll fix the two parts together. So 
So if you've been following along, you'll now have something that resembles a planter. But we're not done there. We now need to create some little potting shelves and then we'll finish lining this out to make a nice bed in the bottom of the planter. Another one of them old slats from pallet number two. Just pop that into the bottom of the top shelf and we can then screw it in place. And then do the same with the middle shelf. And once they're all screwed in place, that'll give us the perfect support to put some nice plants in these shelves. You should now have a couple of solid planting shelves. We're going to line these out in a minute so they don't rot away. Now we've got the two corner posts, we can lose this top slat here. We don't need that in there anymore, that's just getting in the way. You can use a reciprocating saw or a hacksaw or even a multi-tool. Just cut through the nails, remove the middle post and this inner slat. When you're cutting this slat out, ensure that you leave the corner posts in place because they support the corner of the planter. Now the aim is to make this whole thing from two pallets. So I don't want to make a base from something like a piece of plywood because that'd be cheating. So I'm going to use the rest of that second pallet to create our base at the bottom of this planter so that all the soil can't fall through. And I'll do that by using the old blocks like these ones to create a support. We'll screw them blocks in and then we can use the last of the slats to board the bottom of the planter so we can line it and fill it with soil. Once you've got all of those panels screwed in, that is the structure of the planter finished. But we're not done there. That pile of junk there is what's left of the second pallet. With timber prices at the moment being really, really high, I've saved myself an absolute fortune here. Grab a nice modern paint color of your choice and get a couple of coats of paint on there. I've gone for this gray, but duck egg looks great. And there's a few other really good colors where this would look really effective. Make sure that the paint that you use is a proper wood paint suitable for outdoor use. So whilst I'm painting, I'll have a little chat with you about the new Patreon page. So if you like my channel and you find my content supportive, or maybe I've saved you some money in the past, then please consider heading over to the Patreon page. It costs the price of a cup of coffee and if you ask any of the guys that are already patrons over there, they'll tell you it's worth every penny. Go check out the link in the description below and join us, the DIY guys. And there we go, that is now painted a nice modern grey colour. That is going to look the part once it's hung on the wall. Once you've got a couple of coats of paint on and you're happy with the finished result, you can go ahead and line the main flower bed at the bottom and these bedding shelves with a membrane. I cut the membrane roughly to size first of all and insert it in the shelves. I then use a staple gun to hold it in place. And then you can grab a sharp standing knife and just cut away any of that excess material. You should then make a few small cuts in the plastic to allow water to drain away from the plants. Repeat that step for all of the shelves. So once you've painted your planter in a colour of your choice and you've lined it with either some plastic barrier or weed barrier, you can go ahead and plant some plants in there. But if you're going to hang yours on the wall like I have, make sure you do that before you fill it up with soil because obviously it's going to become really really heavy once you've put the soil and the plants in there. So go ahead and hang it on the wall if you prefer to do that or if not you can just have it floor standing but it does look really modern and really effective on the wall so I'm quite happy with where mine is. So let's go ahead and fill it up with some pretty plants.
That looks really modern and it really brightens up this area of the garden. I'm actually really, really happy with that. It's amazing what you can do with a few basic skills, a bit of imagination and a few hours spare on a Sunday. I'd like to know if there's anything different you'd do. Drop me a comment down below and let me know. I'm thinking maybe a self water and irrigation system. What do you think? So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please smash the like button for me because that really helps this video to reach and help more people on YouTube, just like you. And if you like DIY content, then why not subscribe? Hit that subscribe button down below because you're not gonna wanna miss out on all the great content that I've got to come throughout the rest of the year. And if you enjoy this channel, then please consider checking out the link to the Patreon below where you can become one of the DIY guys. And any support that you give the channel really, really helps me to create more great videos just like this one for you guys at home. Right, I think I've earned a drink. So I'll see you guys in the next one.